same like what we have done in IPv4. You see the same command to write static route for IPv6. No much difference. You see, instead of typing IP, you need to put IPv6 route. And you are saying here, in order to go to this destination, send it to the next router. This is the address of next router, you see. 3.1, this way. You are writing this on router 2. For what? For going to this network, AC80. Here it is. So you are telling this router, if you want to go here, here, you need to go here. This is simply, you know, to give you an idea to write static route in IPv6 and run it. This is not teaching you anything here, uh, like what is IPv6, how big is the address, nothing of such kind. Because you did IPv4 static route using this IP route command. Immediately, they are just telling you. Later, they will be teaching you IPv6. They are just telling you how to use IPv6 static route. Now, this is static route. You remember in IPv4, we wrote default route. IPv, IP route 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. 0 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 0, send to this end. That is called static route, no? Sorry, default route. In IPv6 also, you have default route. But it is very simple. This is how you have to write. Instead of saying 0 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 0, in IPv4, we used to write like this, IPv4, IP route. Here in IPv6, just put two colon, slash zero. We'll talk about this a bit later when we go to IPv6 topic. Now to see the routing table of IPv6, in IPv4, we to see the routing table, we used to say show IP route. Here in IPv6, you simply add v6 to the IPv4 command. Ping is normal for IPv4, IPv6, same ping. Okay. Introduction to dynamic routing protocol. Next chapter only starts this topic. This is just an introduction. Dynamic routing protocols are used by routers to share information about reachability and status of the remote network. So this is very interesting point. Status. Plus the reachability along with the status. In static route, we used to tell the router only the reachability to go there, you need to go here. That is reachability. But what if that destination? that you are trying to reach is down. See, in this example here, in IPv6 example, you are telling on router 2, in order to go, in order to send any packet to this destination, 
वो ही है दिस इज ओनली दी इन्फो दिस इज ओनली दी राउट डायरेक्शन बट नॉट द स्टेटस If this method goes down, <coughs> will this router know? No, it don't. It won't know because you have written statically. When you write statically, router two have got no mechanism to check whether this destination that you are. talking about is available or not this is only reachability information in order to go here you should go here this is just a reachability but it is not providing you status if this goes down what will be your condition when this guy wants to send the packet to this guy the packet will come to the router router will forward it here and then the packet will go, go get dropped here because the network doesn't exist static route la if the person is the இந்த நெட்ஒர்க் இது போனோம்னு பேக்கெட் வந்துச்சுன்னா இங்கே அனுப்பிடுன்னு சொல்லிட்டீங்க அதுதான் டீச்சபிலிட்டி இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஆனால் அந்த டெஸ்டினேஷன் ஒரு வேலை இல்லாமல் போயிடுச்சுன்னா நீங்கள் எழுதுன ஸ்ட்ராட்டிக் ரவுட்டு இன்னமும் இருக்கும் ரவுட்டிங் டேபிளில் even though the destination doesn't exist the static route will be still there on router 2 and whenever packet comes router 2 will be sending it to router 1 and then router 1 will drop it why router 1 knows that the network is no more available which is not okay why unnecessarily the packet is processed the bandwidth is consumed again the process is done here for the destination that doesn't exist illada or destination ku na packet anupuraena sollite the router ngalla para pattu uraichi route veli packet thalli இந்த கிளவுடு வழியாக அந்த பேக்கெட் பேண்ட் வித் எல்லாம் கன்சியூம் பண்ணிக்கிட்டு ரவுட்ரு ஒன்றுக்கு போய் சேர்ந்து ரவுட்ரு ஒன்று அதை கஷ்டப்பட்டு ப்ராசஸ் பண்ண பின்னாடி தெரிய வருது அந்த நெட்ஒர்க்கே இல்லை அந்த நெட்ஒர்க்கே இல்லையாப்பா உலகத்தில் எங்கேயுமே என்ன எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஞாபகத்துக்கு வருது உங்களுக்குலாம் நான் சொல்ல முடியாது Dynamic routing protocols are used by routers to share information about reachability and status. This is what dynamic routing protocol is. Superb. It has got a mechanism to update the status. It has got a mechanism. For example, when this link goes down, this router will inform this router, Hey, that link has gone down. Remove that route. immediately router will remove that route that goes to the here so when a packet comes this router itself will say sorry i cannot forward why because there is no destination available the destination which was there 5 minutes before is no more there see dynamic routing protocol not only provides reachability information time to time it will check whether it is reachable if it is not it will immediately remove the routes from the routing table see routers automatically learn about the remote networks from other router 
These networks and the best paths to each are added to the routing table. And not only that, it maintains the route by sending the updates. If the update is saying that network is no more, it will be removed dynamically from the routing table. So you no need to manually write any route. Dynamically, the routing protocol will use the discover information and write the routes into the routing table. For that, we need the protocol. That is why we call this routing protocol, because this protocol provides the route information for various destinations. We got protocols like EIGRP, RIP. This two comes under a category called distance vector. This too comes under category called distance vector routing protocol. We'll talk about that later. And then OSPF, ISA. This too comes under the category called link state. RIP stands for routing information protocol. You see here? Routing information protocol. EIGRP stands for enhanced interior gateway routing protocol. The color of the protocol is Mangala. Enhanced interior gateway routing protocol. OSPF stands for open shortest path first. Open shortest path, path first. Why they have colored it? Only these are the two things that we see in CCN 11. Now we'll also see this one. ISIS stands for Intermediate System to Intermediate System. They have not written in detail. It is Intermediate System to Intermediate System. Now, why do we have these many protocols? Why are we having these many protocols? Routing protocol is to provide route. Why we have this many protocols? I'll ask you a question. In Google Map, we learn the route information. Correct? If you want to go to some new place, you open Google Map. But if you notice on the top, you will have tabs. Why we have that many tabs? Yes. If you're going by cycle, there is an algorithm which will provide you a route according to cycle. If you're going by walk, there is another algorithm which will calculate the path for the people who go by walk. If you're going by train, it will show you another path. Same destination, same source. Algorithm is different. If you're going by car, it will not show the path which you go by walk, mostly. Because for walking, one small gap of two feet is enough for you to go. But for the car, you need at least 10 feet road. So, depending on the vehicle that you are going to, depending on the media that you are going to, depending on the way that you are going to go from one place to another, you click the button there. Accordingly, algorithm will pick one path and show you in the Google map. Likewise, depending on your environmental need, depending on your network environmental need, one of this protocol will suit you. All these protocols are not going to 
find the discover the path in the same manner all discovers the path but they all don't use the same logic one of the logic may be suitable for your environment for example rip's logic may be useful for you your environment so then you will choose rip that is why we need to learn all this protocol to decide which will suit my environment now what are all the protocols that is supported on this router if you want to know you go to the global configuration mode type router and put question mark when you put question mark it will list all the routing protocol that it supports i'll repeat you see here they have done the global configuration mode mode you type router and put question mark this is question mark when you put it shows what all protocol this router supports right so we are going to learn about routing protocols in the next chapter